Dave Parody here. Today in this video I want to show you how we can take a single graphic that might have been produced by um, a graphics design area or a, a marketing uh, department and break it up so that we can build it piece by piece on our slide. And I have a couple of examples to start with just to illustrate what the problem is. Uh, this uh, slide here has a very complex graphic and as you can see the problem is is that we have difficulty trying to explain it because it, there's so much of it on the slide we we really struggle with it beyond the fact there's a whole bunch of different messages going on here let me show you what I did for this particular slide first thing I did is I said well this process library allows us to take each piece and build the pieces in the order that we want them to be to ultimately end up with this SOA grid. And the reason that that uh, grid is an important thing is because each line of business is going to leverage that grid which gives it consistent access to the data that's required. And you notice what I did in this case is I, I took pieces of those graphics and then built them so that they made sense as opposed to overloading the audience with one huge graphic that's way too complex. Another example, uh, this is an example where we're talking about this team that's being put together to, to help uh, someone and when we put them all on at the same time the audience doesn't know where to focus even though we might say now we want to look at this member or this member the other ones are still there and the conversation can get clouded because their mind goes off in different directions what I did was uh, I said together we can create a team so it starts with this team member the next one the next one next one and so on and built each team member so we could talk about their role in the overall team. The challenge is is that many times you as a presenter get this graphic and it's just one big graphic. You can try to ask could you give me each component but in many cases that's not possible or you just don't have the time. So today's agenda what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how do you get a graphic in the format so you can actually work with it. There are some formats that uh, aren't going to be easy so we'll talk about that. Then once we've got it in a format that we can use, we've got it on our slide, how do we do the copying and cropping techniques that allow us to break it into these individual pieces? And then once we've broken it into individual pieces we might have to deal with background graphics because these are complex visuals they've usually got some backgrounds going on how do we deal with that because sometimes those gr background graphics can cause a problem and then we've got to put the pieces back together if we've broken it into the pieces we have got to put them back together so that we can final step is animate them build them one by one for that single discussion 